Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Another grain whiskey. I know, I know. And, and someone once said to me, Mark, I don't know why you like grain whiskies. They are nothing compared to single malt whiskies. They are not as good as single malt whiskies. And then I'm like, oh, hang on. I think you've got it wrong. I don't think we should compare single malt whiskies to single grain whiskies. They're different beasts. You don't compare Fanta to Coca-Cola. Okay, it's two, two refreshing sodas, but they are completely different beasts. What I would like to do is, when I try to explain it to someone, the difference between single malt whiskies and single grain whiskies is like the difference between a steak and a cheeseburger. Now, depending on how you like your steak done, uh, you have lovely steak and sometimes it's overcooked and then you have uh, steak. But steak is steak. But on the other hand, you have these lovely cheeseburgers, and a good cheeseburger is a delicious, delicious meal. Grain whiskies. Now, depending on where you get your cheeseburger, how it's cooked, what type of cheese they use, cask, etc., etc., you can have a very good cheeseburger. So, whenever you approach a grain whiskey, do not compare your cheeseburger to a steak. It's a different kind of meat. It's a different kind of meal. You get the... Yeah? Are you with me? Are we on the same page? Can we move on to the whiskey at hand? We can. Good. Because what I have here is a rather young um, whiskey, a rather young grain whiskey from the Gervin distillery. This is a Gervin 12 years old uh, from 2006, a single cask bottled by Caden Heads, one of the oldest uh, independent bottlers uh, in Scotland, in Campbelltown they are situated. This is an individual cask of Gervin, 12 years old. Now Gervin itself is also a relatively young distillery because it was only founded in 1963. That's not too long ago. That's like less than 50 years ago. Anyway, uh, this is a 12 years old. Gervin may not really sound, uh, ring a bell, sorry. It may not really ring a bell, but when I tell you that it was founded by William Grant and Sons, it starts to dawn on you that William Grant and Sons, hang on, aren't those the guys that we know from Glenfiddich? Oh yes. Balvenie? Yes, indeed. And maybe also a bit from Kininvi. Heard of Kininvi? Ah, that's William Grant and Sons as well. And then there's also the newcomer Elsa Bay. Again, William Grant and Sons. So these are, the Gervin distillery is actually the grain distillery from the people behind Glenfiddich. There you have it. And they have their own blends called Grants. The Grants Family Reserve, the Grants Breast Procured, the Grants This, the Grants That's, whatever. They've got quite a few blends on the market. And uh, now they use Gervin as the packer. This is the, the grain whiskey that they use in their blends. But for their, for their blends, they also need single malt, obviously. And because they do not want to use Glenfiddich and Balveni, because these are so popular in themselves as a single malt, that's why they created the uh, the Elsa Bay distillery. And there you have it. Oh, by the way, just between you and me, there's also Monkey Shoulder. I'm sure you've heard of that. The Monkey Shoulder is not a blend, it's a blended malt because it consists of three single malts. Glenfiddich, Balveni, Kininvi. Monkey Shoulder. But moving back to the grain at hand. So we have here the Gervin 12 years old. Uh, after 12 years, this was bottled uh, by Caden Heads. The funny thing is, on the label it says, matured in an oak cask. Duh, aren't they all? So that's not really helpful. Doesn't really tell us what type of cask it is, but I'm sure it's a bourbon cask, considering by the color. So in 2018, Caden Heads bought all this after 12 years of maturation, but it still went into the bottle at a whopping 60.3% ABV. Ouch. The color is a straw. Yeah, sunlight to straw. Bright, very light. It comes down the glass so quickly, and that's, of course, the high alcohol strength. I hope this is not going to knock me over in this beautiful, beautiful, on this beautiful sunny day, 60.3% uh, ABV on the nose. Ha! Huh. Well, the nose is, is, in its genre, very pleasant. It's very, very much alive, very spring in your glass. I get truckloads of vanilla and lime. I get banana and pomegranate. I get popcorn and a fresh leaf of mint. And on the nose at least, you wouldn't say that this is actually over 60% ABV. Hmm, all right. 
On the ballot then. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, on the pallet, however. Wow, this truly is a kick to the teeth. Your saliva glands will go into overdrive to put out the fire that was just ignited on your pallet. But I get lots of herbal notes like, like camphor, green garden herbs, and mint. But it's quickly followed by vanilla ice cream, coconut, even kiwi, and uh, some, some rummy notes. It's a, a tad spirity, it is true, but all in all, this is actually quite a pleasant green whiskey. Right, on the finish then. Wow. The finish lasts very long, and I'm sure the ABV has a lot to do with that, but the finish lasts forever. I, it's quite fresh on, on, on some mint, vanilla, and some white pepper and after death I get some some lemon juice Wow well this is quite creamy for such a young grain and very 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 sweet indeed but the typical notes of acetone and varnish that I often get with young grain whiskies those are surprisingly absent which I think is quite advantageous and that's all for this whisky rambling this beautiful 12 years old Gervin grain whiskey at 60.3 percent abv whoa this is the type of whiskey that i would actually like to pour a good measure of in a tumbler with two cubes of ice i know i know sounds like blasphemy but at the end of the day you have to enjoy your whiskey the way you like it and this is the type of whiskey that i would like in a big glass two cubes of ice a good measure and it will see me throughout the afternoon with a good book or whatever enjoying this beautiful summer day that's all for this with scrambling now please in this lockdown period take care of your loved ones take care of yourself stay home stay safe and may the green whiskey be with you bye bye